What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Bisons franchise. Now, we are currently on the hottest streak of our franchise's short history as we won the last three games in a row. And I really like our prospects to make it four in a row as we come back to San Diego and face the visiting Arizona Cardinals. Now, they are two and three this year and an 80 overall, so eh, kind of what do you expect from the Arizona Cardinals? But that's not to say that we can take them lightly because we've done that in the past and that definitely hasn't worked out for us. Now, we do have a couple things to go over before we look at their stats because, as I mentioned last week, we do have a breakout running back, and I think we know who that is. That is because Christian Mayberry had a really great game last game that actually bumped him up to his star development. However, it looks like we have two weeks in a row now where we get the chance to actually improve that. So he might actually go to superstar after this week. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know that you could actually do that two weeks in a row, but it's actually really cool. So let's see what we can do. If he gets three touchdowns or over 150 yards receiving and rushing combined, he's going to go up another dev trait, and that's going to be really awesome because, again, he has been an absolute superstar this season. Again, a lot of that can be attributed to our offensive line, but still, you need to be a really good running back to still end up picking up those yards, and he's definitely done that for us. So let's see if we can up him to superstar development. That'd be really awesome. Now, while we have good things going on with Mayberry, looks like we have a crisis in confidence because one of our receivers is not happy. And again, a lot of that is now attributed to the fact that we don't necessarily have a great quarterback. But at the same time, uh, let me hide my face cam here for a second so we can actually see this. Having a big game might help him get back on track. And to be honest with you, we really need Mayberry to really perform. So we are going to really focus on him. But at the same time, that's not to say that I'm going to reject him because he really does need to see the ball more. He's been really great as a possession receiver and definitely someone that I think that Forbes can really look to, especially on like third down. Uh, when we really need to get that first. So I think we can make that promise to him and, and we'll see what ends up happening. And if not, then, hey, you know what? We have another receiver who's really happy with us, but let's see what we can do for Gary here. And apparently in order to keep that promise, he needs to have at least 100 receiving yards. So looks like today we're going to be feeding Mayberry and Gary. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's see what we can do here. It is the Cardinals after all. Again, a team that I don't necessarily think is going to be a huge challenge, but I've really been wrong about that in the past, so we don't want to take them too lightly. And there's probably the biggest surprise for me right there is the fact that Kyler Murray is no longer their starter. It now went to Kirk Cousins, which is actually kind of crazy to see him on there because obviously he was on the move this offseason, uh, but did not end up on the Cardinals. But apparently in this simulation, he did. But currently through five games, he's got over a thousand yards, just barely. He's got uh, seven touchdowns, four interceptions, and has been sacked 14 times. So I think that our defense can really kind of get some good pressure on him. Maybe we can actually sack him a couple times ourselves. Now, in terms of their rushing game, looks like they have a two-headed monster here. Looks like James Conner and Gus Edwards are really their two main backs. Uh, kind of split in carries pretty evenly, but James Conner is definitely getting uh, more carries for sure. Both of them are over 100 yards. Conner with 156 and Edwards with 126. But Edwards does have the two touchdowns, whereas Conner does not. So again, a couple people that we have to look out for. Obviously, they do like to go for their fullback on the on the goal line. So they're kind of like us in that way, but we'll definitely have to keep an eye on that too. Now, in terms of their receivers, there are three guys that we're really going to have to look out for in Marquise Brown, Trey McBride, and Michael Wilson. They are the ones that have the bulk of the receptions this season. Obviously, Connor does a couple out of the uh, backfield as well, as he's got two touchdowns and 107 yards. However, these three are definitely the ones that we have to keep an eye out uh, with our defensive backs. So we'll definitely keep an eye, especially on Brown and McBride, because it looks like he's going to really rely on the tight end a bit. Uh, but again, we'll definitely see what happens in the game. And definitely it looks like their defense knows how to stop the run. They have a ton of TFLs here. They only have a couple sacks, though. Uh, not too bad, honestly, through five games. So I really shouldn't say anything bad about that. In terms of interceptions, it looks like they have four from four different players. So uh, we're definitely going to have to pick and choose our spots to throw to Gary. But let's see if we can establish the run with Mayberry. And then maybe Gary will open up down the field. So in terms of our defensive game plan, we're definitely going to be defending the deep pass. Uh, main reason why is because I really don't think we're going to have much trouble with the run, knock on wood. But also, our secondary is mostly made up of rookies, so I definitely want to uh, kind of put the focus on that to try to help them out a little bit. In terms of our offensive strategy, we're definitely going to be running to the outside. Looks like Fletcher Cox is up the middle, so if we can kind of run to the outside and avoid him, I think that would be best. Now, I will say the downside for us is the fact that their three best players, their three impact players are all on defense and they're all in the secondary. So that goal to be able to get Gary 100 yards receiving might be a little difficult here. But um, I think we can potentially find some holes, but we'll definitely make sure that Mayberry gets his 150 yards just so he can upgrade his dev trait. But either way, 
I know it seems like an easy game on paper, 84 versus 80, but still, again, we've had some trouble at home against quote-unquote easier teams. But either way, let's go in here and let's see if we can pick up this win in week six against the Cardinals. We got the kickoff crew out there, which means that we are going to be kicking off ourselves, which means we also get the ball back at half. So let's see if we can make a statement on defense and let's start off the right way. Oh, sh No? And that's why you don't look away from the game when you kick the ball off. Um, well, at least we get the ball pretty quickly. Yeah, that's my bad. Again, definitely never take your eye off the game when you're playing. Because um, then you don't know who you are and, and you're going to do stuff like that. That's all right. Let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Again, we have two guys who need to accumulate some good yardage here. We have our halfback who needs to get 150 yards. One of our receivers who needs 100 receiving yards. So... Now again, we're going to see if we can actually make that happen. Because we're going to start off with a run here. Looking good. Pretty good hole. And he ends up getting a first on his first carry. Let's go. That's all right. Second and ten. We're going to go back to the run game. Let's go. Good hole there. I thought we were going to get up there a little bit more. But at least we get five. All right. Third and five here. Let's see what we can do. We got Gary. That is a horrible throw. Frank, what are you doing? You were supposed to loft that up to him and you threw it to the middle of the field. Well, that is not the start we needed. That was really bad. Well, I guess it is Kyler that's uh, starting for them, not Kirk. Uh, I wonder what ended up happening there. Uh, either way, though, at least we have to take on Kyler. And they start with the run. Wow, Connor ends up breaking a tackle but only gets four. Yeah, we got our we got our corner blitz in here. Let's see if that doesn't... Let's hope that doesn't hurt us. Yes! No, I thought he was going to be able to intercept that right in his hands, but that's okay. It's the guy we just signed, too. Again, we should have looked at that a little closer. Let's go. Let's get him to a three and out as well. Third and six right now. Let's just pick it up. Good pressure. And there we... No! How did he break that tackle? And then Kyler ends up sliding for 26 yards. What in the hell? I don't know. I, I don't know how he got out in that, but let's go. We need to stop here then. Oh, boy. Get to nine. Let's send some pressure. I think that's going to be the thing to end up stopping him. It is Kyler, after all. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, they're going to run it up the middle. And he ends up getting that yard to be able to get the first. We already see him throw a bad pass like that. Hit one of our uh, defender's hands. But... Oh, no. They're going with the option. But we do stop him for only a gain of three. Second and seven. Looks like the option's going to be something we, we might have to worry about as well. No way you're going to get him. Oh, thank you for dropping that. Oh, my goodness. Another third down. We can't let him get any yards on the ground right now. There we go. Thankfully, you know, I kind of wish he would have caught that. Because then we wouldn't have had to deal with the field goal here. But... At least uh, that's not a conversion. And now this is a 52-yard field goal. I don't know who their kicker is right now, but whoever it is, he just ended up hitting it right down the center, and now they have it up 10 to nothing. Is that Cameron Dicker? What's Cameron Dicker doing on Arizona? Let's actually go with our game plan this time, and let's actually run to the outside. Oh, nice! There we go! Follow the blocks, Jukes! And there we go. We get ahead for a big gain on that one. We get up to 37. We're going to go to the same thing, but to the other side this time. So let's run to the right. We get some good blocks. Oh, he couldn't hold on to that block, and we only get five because of it. All right, let's see if we can hit Gary on the out on this one, just so we can get the first down. Oh, he is wide open. Yeah, Gary turns it upfield. He may have a touchdown now. Let's go. Great audible. And Gary finally can stop complaining because... He ends up getting a touchdown in this game. Let's go. That was about, what, 50 yards? And let's go. Ernest Gary finally getting about halfway there to his goal. Look at this. Out. Misses the tackle right there. Gets through. And let's go. First and 10. Let's see if we can stop them off the rip here. Very nice. They only get four yards on that rush. Wonder if they go back to the ground or if they go to the air on this one. Either way, we'll be ready. Oh, wow, he threw that into some traffic, but somehow he still holds on. All credit to the receiver on that one. Time to stop dicking around here. Let's go first and ten. Let's get a stop here on first down. We've been getting some pretty good pressure. We just haven't been getting him in the backfield. 
Going for the little quick pass there, and they get five. These little quick passes are kind of killing me here. That's how they're managing to work their way downfield, but let's see if we can get in there this time. That ain't going to be a quick pass, because he ends up getting sacked. Miles Garrett thankfully gets in. He was the one who was blitzing on that one. It's now third and 11. So let's get him off the field right here. Let's get some pressure, third and 11. Can't let him get too comfortable in the pocket. Nice rush there, get around. Step up to him. No shot they gave him a first on that one. I don't know why he didn't come up to try to make the play a bit sooner. And maybe that's on me, but it looks like this is gonna be the last play of the first. And it looks like that is. Either way, let's start off the second quarter on the right foot. And that is not the way to do it. Thankfully, we end up tackling him before he gets too far. But he gets up to the 40. First and 10. Oh, boy. Wow. Nice play there by them. I'll give them that. And they end up getting another first. All right. At this point, I think we just need to actually just send pressure. I think that's all we have to do. We just need to force the ball out of his hands. Thankfully, we end up stopping him for nine, though. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but Kyler Murray is just marching downfield on us. I didn't think that that was going to be possible, but hey, there he is. Ends up getting another first. All right, we got to send out our goal line defense here. We need to stop the run at all costs, despite the fact that they have been passing. But yep, go to the ground, but thankfully we stopped them at the one. All right, now this would be a really, really incredible stop right here if we were able to do it. And let's go. We bring him down to the backfield, back to the three. And if that worked that time, it's going to work this time, too. Let's blitz six. Let's get the ball out of his hands. And unfortunately, that didn't work. And that allowed him to be completely wide open because we had to put a, a defensive lineman over a cornerback for this game because one of the corners we ended up uh, drafting ended up going down with an injury. So, unfortunately, they're going to exploit that for sure. And you see what happens when they do. Another touchdown for them. Which now then pushes it to a 17-7 game. Well, down two possessions now. Let's try to get a pretty quick score. And even if we don't get a quick score... Duke! Oh, I was hoping! He actually broke that tackle, but another guy came up to him and ended up getting him down. But Mayberry with another big gain. Even if we don't get the ball back again, at least we get it back at the beginning of the next half. So, again, if we can actually get a quick score here, that'd be nice. But... At the same time, whatever we can do to be able to try to get up. Let's be smarter. Let's go back to the run now. Because that was working before. Nudges him out. Can't quite get out there, but still picks up three. Now, it said Mayberry needs 150 yards, but it didn't say that it couldn't be in the air. Because there's a nice screen. Let's just get up for the first. We have it fourth and inches, and I don't think that that is in field goal range. So maybe we'll run it. So that's what we're going to do. And let's run it with our fullback here. And let's just pick up the first. That's all we can ask for. And there we go. We get it with that just one yard. That was a, that was barely a, a first down, but it was still one nonetheless. All right, let's work this clock in our favor here. We're going to keep it on the ground. Let's, cle let's keep the clock running, pardon me, and let's get it down to the two-minute warning. So out of the two-minute, I, I kind of like this right here. We get that hole up the middle. We get around. Look at those. Look at those cuts right there, and we get up to another first down. Let's go for a toss to the outside here. Again, keep working the clock a bit. Ooh, that was a really bad cut by me. All right, let's keep it on the ground again. Let's run to the left this time. Oh, we get some real good blocks, and I think we have a touchdown here. Mayberry diving in, and let's go. Mayberry picking up another touchdown. Oh, that's his first touchdown. Mayberry picking up his first touchdown of the game. Pardon me. I don't know why I thought he had another one. I think it's because he's had the majority of the ones for the offense. But there we go. Ends up getting to the outside. Some really good blocks. And we end up picking up another touchdown, which means we're only going to be down by three, hopefully going into the half. So if we can hold them for the next 52 seconds, we'll end up getting the ball back at half. And then we have the potential to go up then. Ooh, keep them in bounds, obviously. They do have timeouts. They're going to end up wasting them. I wonder if they're going to quick, uh, if they're going to keep going for the quick passes here, uh, just to keep moving it downfield a bit. Well, they took some time on that one. And man, he ends up catching that up to the 48. Well, they keep letting the clock tick down. I'm, I'm not going to stop it. Oh, oh my gosh. Hit him right in the back of the helmet. I thought he if he would have just turned around. Yeah, it hit you in the back of the helmet. I saw that. So that does stop the clock, but they have 16 seconds left. We just got to keep it out of field goal range, which if we get some pressure here, we can definitely do. But as they double team our linemen, oh my goodness, got to take them down. But yeah, when you got two guys on one defensive lineman, it's hard to get a pretty good rush. Let's go. There we go. We get through. They're going for the screen. 
And let's go. We end up stopping that with a good rush. All right, we're going to rush three here. It doesn't seem smart, but I just want to keep it out of the end zone at this point. I can deal with this six point. There we go. I can deal with the six point deficit, but I couldn't deal with the two score deficit. So who knows? Maybe they miss. Oh, let's go wide left. And we are going to go into the locker room with only a three point deficit, which means if we can score out of the half, we're going to be in a really good spot. So as we go into the locker room at halftime, again, we are only down by three. Uh, we're actually not having a bad game, uh, all things considered. Obviously, we gave up that uh, kick return touchdown in the beginning, but really realistically, that's the worst we've been all game. Let's see if we can fine tune the things that uh, were not going well during that half, and, and let's see if we can take it to him in the second. So honestly, I think we're going to continue to run to the outside. That's really been working for us. Um, so let's keep doing that. We're averaging 12 per carry, so why not? Um, and no, honesty, like I said, we do need, do need to defend the pass, uh, the deep pass, but they've been thrown short. So let's make sure that we keep an eye on that too. Well, it's been working. So let's keep going to the run here. Let's see what we can do. Get some good blocks, gets out ahead of him, jukes around him and ends up going ahead. Now he's got 133. He's almost at that 150 mark. And I think with the screen, he's only 10 yards away. So let's see if we can get that right here. Or not, but at least he's four yards closer. I'm gonna run to the outside. Let's try to run it up the middle this time. Ooh, they're trying to blitz. Decent hole, but dang, only got up for a couple. We're gonna pick this up with our feet. Uh, I, I don't feel comfortable with it, but I think we can do that. Oh yeah, we got a nice hole there. Wow, no, we only get up to a fourth and one. Do I risk it? We are at about midfield. We're not in an, an inches situation. I'm a little nervous, but we're going to do it anyways. And that's why we don't, and we turn the ball over. That was a bad decision. But Some defense goes back to work. Let's see if we can hold them to a field goal this time. Oh, and they get a lot of room to run there. We get them down. And again, I can't believe we're letting the Cardinals kind of carve us up like this. That's crazy. There we go. Cut them down. Not sure what to say at this point. Let's get in there. Yeah, their running game is going. It's doing pretty well now. Connor's been gotten, what, three runs straight now? And been getting positive yardage on each one. Can't believe this is coming down to, like, actually stopping John Co or, uh, James Connor. Oh, my goodness. What are we doing? We're letting him go in for a touchdown. That's really bad. That's not even Connor. That is Sellers. Their third halfback. Their third string running back ends up getting in for a touchdown. Our defense needs to wake the f*** up because that is awful. What are we doing there? And he can't even get around. He breaks the tackle from our safety. And yeah, no, but that wasn't even much of a tackle. He didn't even try. So the decision to go for it on fourth down did not pay off. We're going to go back to the ground here. Oh my gosh, he seals the edge for us. They're not doing too much to actually stop that outside run, are they? So if they're not going to stop the outside, let's keep going to the outside. Oh, uh, well. Oh, wow. My goodness, it looked like that was going to be bottled up, but he still gets ahead for a first down somehow. So it looks like we're checking Montez Sweat into the game because they need a little bit of a break. And he only ends up getting three, his first carry of the game. And that was enough to get Mayberry to ask for himself to be put back right into the game. So let's go. Get to the outside. We get the first down and he ends up getting up there. Almost at 200 for the game. The ground's been working, so I think we can score on this. Again, there's so much game left that I think we're going to be fine. Ends up getting ahead. Another first down. This dude's just an absolute machine. Sorry, let's go to a weak side run right here as they blitz. But we find the hole up the middle. Get to the outside. Ends up getting to the one yard line. And let's keep it up right here. We have a chance to get into the end zone. And you guys know who this one's going to. He earned it after pretty much getting every single yard on this drive. Well, but he needs to actually get into the end zone first. So never mind. So let's give him one more shot here. Let's try to go up the middle. They blitz, but the middle is wide open. And there we go, Mayberry getting in for his second touchdown of the game, and I'm actually right in saying that this time. So there we go, gets right up the middle. Thankfully, they didn't stuff the run this time. They were expecting it to go out to the tackles, but thankfully, we just pushed it right up the middle. And there's our touchdown. Now we're only going to be down by three. Effing Kyler Murray, man. I don't know how he's able to do this, but either way, I, come on. I, I think we have the defense to be able to stop him. This is a damn good defense. Let's make it seem like we are, too. Come on. No way. How does he just dice us up somehow? And how did no one see him go up the middle? 
Well, he's looking like the quarterback that the Cardinals drafted him to be. Uh, there we go. Th finally, we actually stop him in the backfield. And it's now second 11 as we go into the fourth quarter. Yeah, could you imagine if Kyler Murray was as good as he is in, or as good as he is here in real life? Then the Cardinals would probably be a playoff team pretty frequently. And let's go. He ends up throwing it into the ground on that one. Yeah, we need a quarterback spy out there because he's just been getting us on third down every single time. He finds a way to break out of the pocket. No way, guys. Come on, defense. You're better than that. And the defense disappoints yet again. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Come on, get into the backfield. Oh, he throws it to the guy out of the backfield. He only picks up one. Second and nine. Come on now. Again, as long as we hold him to a field goal, we can score again. There we go. He ends up dropping that one, which pushes it to yet another third and long. Let's see if we can stop Kyler on this one. Oh, no. Bro, how did you get burnt that bad? How did you get burnt that bad? Oh my goodness, what was that? No shot. He was just wide open. And again, that's the guy that we had to pick up to actually put at corner. Not ideal. That's that's really bad. And now they're about to go back up 10. And uh, I might see if we can, even though they're about to go into, yeah, they're about to go into zone here. Let's see, maybe we can hit Gary on the out, but... Let's go. We actually hit Hutchinson, who drops the ball. Buddy, that was actually a perfect pass. And I really shouldn't be exclusively going to the air here, but it looks like that's what we're doing right now. And thankfully, we throw out of that sack. All right, I'm, I'm putting a lot on Forbes here. Let's see if he can pick up this first down for us. And I think we will. There's Ernest Gary again. Get some more yards after the catch. And let's keep it going. I think we're going to go with the same play, actually. Why not? Keon White is going to be open. Oh my gosh, he almost tipped that up to the defender. Let's go second down. Let's go for the screen. Let's get the ball. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they came really quick, huh? All right, this is kind of a last-ditch effort now. Let's go. Third and ten. We need to pick up this first really, really badly. We got Jefferson. Ends up picking it up. Let's go. Well, first and ten. Let's see if we can run this right here. Nice. We get a nice hole there. I was hoping he was going to be able to get up ahead of him, but no. We need to keep pushing this right here. Five and a half left. We don't have much time. No, that was not a fumble. I thought he threw that. Third and 18 now. We don't have many options now. We have to go for a, for a deep pass here. So question is, who is going to give us the best chance to actually catch the ball? That is going to be Gary. No way. I can't believe it. I did not think that he was going to be able to catch that. And there we go. Not only did we complete the challenge with over 100 yards now, but we also get it within three yet again. Five minutes left, down by three. We need a big defensive stand. So let's do it. Let's get some pressure here. Let's stop him. We need that big defensive stop. Oh my gosh. Really, Kyler? You... All right, that's that's not the start we need. But let's go. We, we need to find a way to stop Kyler. I, don't, I can't believe I'm saying that. I thought that was going play action, and Connor gets up for a first. Come on now. That's two consecutive first downs. We need to stop him right here. Yeah, of course you're going to keep it on the ground. It only makes sense. All right, let's get a stop right here. Even a field goal is, is okay with me, in all honesty. Oh, they're going play action. Thankfully, he overthrows his receiver and is now third and seven. Biggest stop of the game right here. We need to find a way. There we go. Get through. No, guys, what are you doing in the secondary? That was really bad. So we need to do something here. Again, we need to just hold him to a field goal. We need to find a way to get some stops. And we do tackle him in the backfield. And at the two-minute warning, we're down by three with them still knocking on the door. Second and 12, I would imagine they're going to keep it on the ground here. So we need to make sure that we call a timeout as soon as we end up tackling them. Come on, guys. There you go. Get him down. Third and ten now. Only one back. It looks like they're going to be going to the air on this one. Let's force a bad pass. Get around him. I can't believe... And we just need to get a turnover now. That's our only way to end up winning the game. They can't get another first down. Let's call that timeout. If they get past the first down marker, I have to let them score. That way we can try to score. There we go. Get him down. Nope. And I think that's going to be it. Unfortunately, we didn't allow him to get in. And unfortunately, that's how we lose this game. I mean, I will say the one positive is the fact that we did accomplish both our goals for both of our offensive players. 
But the downside is we just ended up losing 31 to 28 against the two and three Arizona Cardinals against Kyler Murray, which is embarrassing. Not the week we were expecting after being on a three game winning streak too. And again, just shows the value that the rookies have on this team too. Because again, we ended up losing our uh, cornerback, one of our corners to injury. And we had to put someone over there who is an, obviously an offensive or a defensive lineman because we can't put people there that aren't offensive def defensive linemen that we didn't draft. So unfortunately we had to put them out there and they burnt us on two plays for two scores. And that was the difference in the game, unfortunately. I talked all year about how our defense has been so good, but we did not show it in this game. I mean, Kyler, 203 in the air and 70-something on the ground. He had two touchdowns. Frankie had 150 in the air with two touchdowns as well. Five for 13, though. His completion percentage definitely needs to go up. Mayberry had an incredible game on the ground again. Only two, 23 rushes for 227 yards and two touchdowns. Almost average 10 per carry. Uh, Connor didn't really do great, but still averaged four 60 yards and pretty much allowed them to get uh, a bunch of first downs that we did not need them to get. Kyler at 70 yards on the dots. Uh, Nixon had those two rushes for two. Unfortunately, did not come up with a first down on that one fourth down. And then, of course, Sweat with three yards. And then Sellers had that one rush for 28 and a touchdown. Receiving, I don't even want to look at theirs. I don't even want to think about that. Let's look at us, though. Gary had three for 129 with the two touchdowns. Mayberry had that one on the screen. And then Jefferson had that one for 14 uh, as well, which was really good. That allowed us to continue that drive and allow us to find Gary later in the drive as well. Now, defensively, Miles Garrett I had 13 tackles, you know, and yet none of them came in, in really the clutch there. But still, Miles had three TFLs and four other guys with one. We only had one sack, and if we would have had more, that would have been a much different game. But Kyler found a way to break out of pressure, and what can you do? Should have had one interception in that game for sure, but we couldn't get it. And obviously no fumbles as well. Our defense really need to pick it up this game, and they just didn't. That one hurts a lot. If the Chargers and the Raiders both win this week, we're going to be tied atop the AFC West, unfortunately. I was hoping we are going to be able to extend our lead, but obviously that is not the case. Uh, of course, with our breakout player, Mayberry, oh, I knew he had that kind of talent. That's two weeks in a row he's been able to up his dev trade, and that means he ends up going up to superstar development. We drafted him as a normal development, and he is all the way up to superstar within six games of him being in the NFL. That is absolutely insane. And he gets 2,000 XP as well, which means we're going to be able to boost him a bit. And the other positive is with the crisis in confidence here with Ernest Gary. Thankfully, he did have a 100-yard receiving game. Uh, I know we didn't end up winning, but uh, he still should be happy. He did really well there. And again, I didn't think he was going to get that one reception, but thankfully he did, or else... You know, we definitely would have been done much sooner in that game. But thankfully, uh, yeah, he's pretty happy here. He doesn't lose any confidence. And thankfully, he's in good spirits. So his morale goes up. And it looks like the Chargers ended up winning. So both of us are sitting atop the AFC West with a 4-2 and two record. Uh, we'll end up facing them, obviously, twice this season. So hopefully, we can end up getting the leg up on them there. But uh, we really need to win that game against the Cardinals because we have a really tough challenge this week as we end up facing the Baltimore Ravens, who are also 4-2 and, and sitting at an 86 overall. And honestly, the scary thing is that their defense is an 88, which means that, honestly, I think we're going to have to really rely on Mayberry. Uh, but if they end up stopping him, we're going to have to rely on Forbes, and that is not a recipe for success for this team. Uh, but obviously, we're going to be facing Lamar Jackson. Looks like he's having a pretty good season. 11 touchdowns, 1 interception, 1,200 passing yards. And I'm sure he's doing some really good stuff with his legs as well, so... Obviously, things we're going to have to worry about and things we'll end up checking out next week. Doesn't look like we have any cutscenes to look at this week or going into next week, so thankfully that'll be kind of a straight-up battle. But again, thankfully we do have Gary and Mayberry uh, with some boosts this week. Obviously, Mayberry with uh, the Superstar Development, and then, of course, Gary with the Morale Boost as well. So maybe we can look his way if we kind of get in a jam. But either way, we're going to be facing the Baltimore Ravens. Going to be a tough challenge, but we faced other tough challenges this season. And I think we can end up coming out with a win in this one too. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week against the Ravens.